Hi guys, I just came back from a holiday trip to Queenstown. Queenstown is a little town here in South Island of New Zealand and it's a beautiful place. This time I bought my Panasonic G85 with the lower 17mm f1.8 lens and also the lower 4mm fisheye lens and also a Panasonic 45 150mm lens as well. Our original plan was to fly to Queenstown in the morning and then we spent two nights there and then came back on the third day. Unfortunately, the weather was really not so good. Um, so after two unsuccessful landing, the plane got diverted to Dunedin. And so we stuck in the Dunedin airport for a couple of hours. In the end, we did manage to get back to Queenstown that evening and we had a free bus trip to check out some beautiful scenery between Dunedin and Queenstown. The downside is we lost pretty much the first day of our three-day trip, but at least we got back to Queenstown that evening and still managed to pick up our rental car and had a delicious dinner there. If you have ever tried to take some photo from within a bus or any vehicle, unless you can roll the window down, quite often you have a lot of reflection in your window and that can ruin the photo that you took. If you had the same experience, I have something that I can suggest to you. So I bought this little gadget from the internet a while ago. I don't really know what's the official name, but um, if you search for collapsible anti-refraction lens hood, then you can probably find some similar product on the internet. So this gadget is really good in cutting down or almost virtually eliminate all the refraction from the window. And also it is really good because you can collapse it and then you can fit it into your camera back very easily. So these days when I'm traveling and I know that I may want to take some photo um, in the bus or even on the airplane, I would bring this one because it does really help a lot. The reason why I took the G85 instead of any of my full frame camera because this is not really a photo trip, it's more a family holiday and the air ticket we bought also didn't include any check-in luggage so I don't really want to and I also couldn't bring uh, a lot of heavy camera gear so with the G85, the lower 17mm lens and also the lower 4mm fisheye lens and the little Panasonic 45-150 lens, um, all together the size is very compact and also very lightweight. I think together they are probably less than 1kg. So they are perfect for me. And as you can see, the picture quality is actually very decent. And because the camera is so lightweight, I can just bring a little travel tripod and that is enough for the cameras so that I can use it to take some family photo together.
My original plan of the trip is that the first day we would drive to Gurnoji, which is less than an hour drive from Queenstown, and it is a beautiful, beautiful place. Unfortunately, as I told you earlier, our flight got diverted, so we lost the first day completely, so we couldn't go to Gurnoji on the first day. However, on the very last day, we managed to squeeze a little bit of time, so we made a very quick trip to Grenoche, and um, even just the road driving to Grenoche is absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, we really didn't have too much time, so once we arrived at Grenoche, we only have a very quick stay there, and then we have to drive back to Queenstown and get on the plane and fly back to Auckland. If you got a chance to visit Queenstown in the future, I highly recommend you to drive to Grenoche because it's just stunningly beautiful there. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the photo I share with you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment and let me know. And I will see you in my next video.